Well, hello everyone. My calculations indicate that we still have several more kilometers until we reach our final destination. Let's keep going. And yes, we know you need food. I do too. No one wants birthday cake more than me. Well, except maybe me. Remember, I'm the birthday girl. Well, if you hadn't chosen to do an escape room, we could have eaten some by now. Friends, I think we have started to sound like the crowd. Listen, they say that life now feels worse than slavery in Egypt. I feel so hungry. Let's go back. Making bricks doesn't sound so bad. What? They said it first. Listen, we all know that we need to make it to Sinai to complete the mission. But at our current rate, I doubt we will ever get there. Let's find Lyle. He's helped us figure out what to do with all our previous problems and predicaments. Launching my surveillance drone now. Quick, over there! Hello, kids! How do you feel about the final leg of your adventure? You will arrive at Sinai before you know it! I can't do it! I want to give up! We will never make it! I feel hungry and everyone's complaining. Let's just go back home. Well, remember... That's the same thing that Israelites went through in our scripture passage for today. Oh, is this a part of the escape room challenge? Yes, indeed. In our scripture passage for today, they had escaped from Pharaoh and from Egypt, but they didn't experience true freedom yet. Why not? Well, after they escaped from Egypt and traveled in the wilderness, they complained about everything. They complained about how hungry they felt. And they started to say that freedom in the wilderness felt worse than slavery in Egypt. After everything they saw God do for them, don't they have any common sense? Well, in truth, learning to trust God, especially during tough times, feels pretty challenging for most of us. How so? Most of us just focus on what we want or need. But just like the Israelites, we all need to learn that true freedom comes from learning to trust God in all situations. But they clearly didn't trust God in today's story. What did God do? Well, God sent them food. He gave them quail and very special bread called manna. He provided for them even after they complained? Yes. God continues to help us, even when we mess up. And hopefully, the next time things feel hard, we'll remember God's past goodness and trust Him better next time, rather than complain or despair. So, do we get mana too? Well, I think for your escape room birthday party, you should get something a little different than what they got in the Bible story. <gasps> yes, 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 yes! Okay, maybe somehow you do want birthday cake more than me. But what about everyone else? Don't worry. Just like in our scripture passage for today, we have plenty for everyone. But it will go bad after today, right? Yes. Again, God wants to teach us to trust Him. They had to trust that the food that they needed would come every day. 
And if they got greedy and tried to take extra, it would just go wrong. My soul feels refreshed. I think I can continue our journey now. By the way, have we finished yet? Yes, almost. You have one more stage before you reach Sinai and the end of the journey. But before you get there, we'll have to see if you've learned anything. So keep journeying, and I hope that helps you understand our scripture passage just a little bit better. Goodbye, everyone.